Hi everybody and thank you for subscribing my channel that is Santosh Kulkarni Civil Engineering Academy and today I am going to deliver the lecture number 11 on the bearing which is very important part of the bridge and which is very useful for your diploma as well as degree level type of examinations as well as GATE and MPSC mains examination and also useful for various types of examinations where MCQs are asked in competitive examination but to obtain the marks in MCQ you must know the basic theory okay then we will discuss about the definition of bearing what is the bearing the bearings are the devices fixed on the abutments and piers to allow the free expansion contraction and deflection of the bridge superstructure are known as the bearings so what is bearing it allows the expansion it allows the contraction and which allows the deflection okay what is the function of bearing to distribute the load received the ends of the bridge girder over the large area on the top of abutment or abutment or pier so whatever load is coming from the bridge superstructure it is to be transferred over the large area of sub substructure that is top of abutment or pier to freely allow the longitudinal movement occurring in bridge superstructure due to variation in temperature to transmit the horizontal forces to allow the angular movement at support due to deflection of the girders and to allow for vertical movement due to sinking of support okay these are the functions of bearing please look at this figure this is one simple figure here and which is shown here these are the bearing we call this circular part as a bearing this bearing allows the horizontal movement also it allows the angular movement also and it allows the vertical movement also due to sinking of support okay it is very simple in concept okay but very important in the examination point of view so what is the necessity of keeping one bearing fixed and other free there are two types of bearing one is the fixed type of bearing and other are free type of bearing one bearing is kept fixed and other is free to avoid the development of the internal stresses due to movement of long movement in the longitudinal direction and to prevent the horizontal movement of the bridge superstructure due to horizontal forces applying brakes to the vehicles horizontal forces are developed on the bridges due to application of brakes and due to this application of the brakes there is a horizontal movement of the girder and to prevent this horizontal movement one bearing is kept fixed and other is kept free okay then we will discuss about the types of bearing especially in steel girder bridges okay one type is fixed and second is the expansion type of bearing okay so what are the different types of fixed bearing and what is the definition of fixed bearing we will discuss the bearing which do not permit any longitudinal movement of the bridge girder are known as a fixed bearing and these bearings usually allow the angular movement as well as deflection of the girder fixed bearings are classified as shallow or fixed plate bearing deep cast base bearing rocker bearing and knuckle bearing we can remember this by simple formula sd means sd barman rk means raj kapoor and these are the first letters of these all four types of bearings okay sd and rk that is shallow or fixed blade and deep cast base rocker and knuckle type of bearings okay then we will discuss about the shallow or fixed blade type of bearing this is the simplest form of fixed bearing consisting of rectangular plate underneath of the lower flange of the bridge girder the plate is anchored to the abutment and through the bed plate and it is used to for steel girder bridges for span up to 12 meter if this is the abutment and this is the bed plate the blade plate is attached to the bearing plate and bearing plate is attached to the lower flange of steel girder okay so you must remember this figure to know the concept okay then we will discuss about the deep cast base bearing this is the improved type of fixed bearing and it is attached to the lower side of girder to distribute the load more uniformly than that of first type of bearing and it is suitable for the steel girder bridges for the spans up to 12 and then up to 20 meters okay this is the lower flange of bridge uh, girder and this is the 
deep cast base or cast base and which is attached to this bed plate and bed plate is resting on the abutment or pier okay you must know that okay then third type is rocker bearing it consisting of the top shoe and bottom shoe with rocker pin the rocker pin is in between this is the top shoe this is the bottom shoe this is the top shoe this is the bottom shoe and this is the rocker pin and this allows the angular movement of the girder at its ends and it is used for long span steel girder bridges having span more than 20 meter okay so please remember this figure you must know the what is top shoe what is bottom shoe and where rocker pin is there and which allows the angular movement okay and it is suitable for the span more than 20 meter the knuckle type of bearing in this bearing rocker pin is casted over the top of bottom shoe in the form of hemisphere so please look at this figure this is the knuckle pin or rocker pin which is casted over the bottom shoe and bottom shoe is attached to the honeycombed bend plate and this is the top shoe and this is the lower flange of bridge girder you must know this figure to know the concept of this knuckle bearing okay then we will discuss about different types of expansion bearings first we discuss the fixed bearing now we will discussing the expansion type of bearing the bearings which allows the longitudinal movement of the bridge girders are known as expansion bearings and it is divided into following types sliding plate bearing deep cast base curved plate bearing rocker bearing with the curved base and last one is the rocker and roller bearing and which is very important from the examination point of view okay first sliding plate bearing it is the simplest form consisting of the sole plate attached to the underside of the bridge girder which is free to slide over the wall plate anchor to the masonry abutment so this is the masonry abutment and the bed plate is resting over the masonry abutment and sole plate is attached in between the bed plate and the lower flange of the girder okay and it is suitable for the span 12 to 20 meters okay then second type is deep cast base curve plate bearing it consisting of the sole plate attached below girder rest on the top of deep cast base curve plate anchor to the top of abutment okay and it is suitable for the span for 12 to 20 meters this is the abutment we must know that this is the abutment and this is the curve bear plate and curve bed plate is attached with this sole plate and sole plate is attached to the lower flange of the steel girder okay and such a type of bearing is called as a deep cast base curve plate bearing okay and it is suitable for the span 12 to 20 meter third type is rocker rocker bearing with the curved base this rocker bearing but bottom shoe is provided with the curved bottom which offers minimum resistance to the longitudinal movement of the bridge girder it offers the minimum resistance means it offers the resistance it offers not much resistance but minimum resistance okay and it is suitable for the spans up to 12 to 20 meter this is the bottom shoe and bottom shoes bottom part is curved one this is the top shoe and in between top shoe and bottom shoe there is a rocker pin okay then we will discuss about the rocker and roller bearing which is famous and all the time asked in the examination it is the rocker bearing but the bottom shoe is rest upon the rollers which is turn roll on honeycombed bed plate anchor to the top of abutment so it is allows the rolling okay and it is suitable for the spans more than 20 meter you must know this is the top shoe you must know this is the bottom shoe and at the bottom of bottom shoe there are the rollers which are resting on the bed plate and which allows the movement okay and such a type of bearing is called as a rocker and roller bearing and other types of bearings are bearing for the slab, bearing for the girder, bearing for the continual bridges and bearing for the submersible bridges. Okay, but we are not going to discuss this bearing into detail because this, this is not asked in the examinations of MPSC men's and other examinations. Okay, then last one is the elastomeric bearing. This is called a rubber bearing this is basically rubber bearing for the highway bridges or it 
may be termed as a neoprene bearing because the name of company producing such a type of bearing is the neoprene so it is called as a neoprene bearing okay and this should satisfy the following requirements the internal layer of the elastomer should be of equal thickness it act as a single homogeneous block and there is no adhesive or anchoring device in between elastomer and the structure face okay so the layers of the elastomer having equal thickness the thickness is equal it act as a homogeneous and there is no adhesive okay used okay and for more details or notes you please may contact my administrator or write me on my email id svkulkarni72 at the rate gmail.com i am going to deliver my next lecture on the strengthening of the bridges and you please don't miss that lectures okay and thank you for subscribing my channel santosh kulkarni civil engineering academy thanks thanks a lot and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and also press a bell icon to get my further notifications of the lectures okay so till then tata bye 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 see you and thank you once again for subscribing my channel thanks thanks a lot